first off is our favorite ramen place so far that we found in Melbourne, Hakata Jensuki. So this is as close as possible as we have been able to find just like Japan in Melbourne. <music> barbecue restaurant just near Big Market. This place is pretty legit. We get the Wagyu pork belly and beef bulgogi and it is so fucking delicious. They know our order off by heart. We've been coming here for like a few years now and it is so legit so you have to give it a shot. <music> fucking lit like we bring all of our friends here and it is so amazing and delicious and so fucking good and one of my favorite restaurants ever <music> found the best acai bowl in Melbourne at Thousand Blessings Cafe in Richmond. We come here every Sunday and it is so good. They know us and they know our orders and it's just amazing. The coffee's really good too. <music> Chinatown they serve big slab of meat or whatever you order on a extremely hot slab of rock and you cook it at your table so it's a little bit different to cream barbecue um, because it's literally your plate like you eat off the slab of boiling rock and it's really yummy it's a bit more expensive but it's totally worth the money if you have it <music> S at QV Melbourne serve sea salt ice cream with fairy floss, roasted marshmallows, etc. And it is so delicious and so weird and it turns your poo green. So there's that. <music> So next is Smith and Daughters. So this is a vegan restaurant in Brunswick and it's so delicious. It was our first time coming here and we definitely recommend it if you're after a really nice restaurant that's, yeah, completely vegan.
Bistro Guillaume in Crown is literally one of our favorite restaurants. So this is a French bistro. They serve the best onion soup. They serve this amazing potato mash called Paris mash and is literally the best thing you will ever eat. And finally, Milk the Cow. This place is a licensed fromagerie and has two locations in Melbourne. The menu is huge. They sell flight boards with all different alcohol. They also sell cigars. So if you're into alcohol and cheese, this is 100% the place you need to go. They have really good opening hours as well and the price actually isn't too bad for the quality of the cheese. place is literally the most snapchatted restaurant I think I've ever had. <laughs> I've put in the little snapchats and everything from when I've taken some so yeah different perspective I guess. We order the five cheese board with some extras like truffle honey and prosciutto and we also order a baked camembert or baked brie and they are so yummy and the alcohol is really nice and I just fucking love cheese, so this place is heaven for me. That brings us to the end of this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed something a little bit different and an insight into where we eat all the time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, see ya!